Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to episode 13 in this playthrough of Civilization 6 as Indonesia. So, we have been doing a little bit better in recent parts. We are still absolutely miles behind Australia, who are no longer um, proper against us. We're no longer denounced by them. We're just, we're just unfriendly. Um, yeah, so we're doing okay, and at the last, uh, at the last, at the end of the last episode, we had a discussion where I basically said we should probably think about attacking the Kama, because basically the Australians are so far ahead. I mean, we're looking at technology here; they are a hundred science in front of us almost. They're absolutely bossing this game for some reason. Quite, quite a margin to everybody else as well. Um, yeah, so we need we need to think about how do we how do we give ourselves a chance in this game, and that probably is going to be by attacking the Kama. So in this episode, we're going to begin preparation. We're going to carry on building our navy up. We're probably not going to necessarily denounce anyone yet. We might do. We might denounce them back. Um, or we're not going to necessarily start putting our troops in place, but we are just going to kind of carry on building up nicely, put a bit of a bigger focus on on building up our units and see where that leads us. I mean, if they declare war, I can't say it'd be totally good. As long as we manage to deal with the initial attack, get organised and everything, we should be okay. A little bit of a strategy before, obviously, anything does kick off. I'm thinking maybe if we look at this city here, um, Indrapura, here, that city, and this one here. Because they're kind of a bit out of the way, they're going to be probably a little bit easier for us to grab. Um, got to think about them, but obviously our navy is very much spread out, so we've, we've got a lot of work to do We need to probably start to think about in this episode, but we'll see we'll see Okay, also we're gonna try and build a holy site somewhere, but we'll get oh, in fact No, I'll do it now because I think the turns pass which I wanted to pass Because I wanted one of the tiles I think now unfortunately with the city of Ternate Unfortunately, we've not got any particularly good holy sites. We've got no forests. We've got no mountains so Although we get adjacency sea bonuses, which is pretty much why that's, yeah, coastal tiles, which is why that's an oh, uh, showing us plus one faith, we haven't got any particularly special. Um, is that a, where's the wood tile then? Oh, it'd be that one, okay. We've not got any particularly special places to put the holy site. And I did actually have a look around off camera to see if we could place it anywhere better in any of the cities, but it's just not feasible anywhere else. And I want the holy site up to get our faith going, to help us produce, um, to buy with faith military units. So I think I'm going to put it there. I know it's not a great um, tile and it will actually destroy the rainforest, which is a bit poor, but you know, needs must and all that. So we're going to actually put the holy site there. Yeah, okay. Yay! Holy site in progress! We should have really done this absolutely ages ago. I'm learning so much about the game, and especially of Ind about Indonesia as I play through this game. So I'm quite enjoying the series. Hopefully we can get a good result from it. I think everything else is okay, so we seem all set to end this turn. I'm going to have a drink, as I always do. I, like, I need to rehydrate between turns, which is a bit weird. Okay, where's this galley? Oh, yes, I remember the Chinese were blocking us in, but it looks like they might have let us out here. Not that it matters, because we're so far away from home, it's unreal. And galleys move so slowly, they really do. When you compare the galleys to, to the, Zhong, the Zhongs or the Caravels, oh god, they are such slow movers. Right, we can end the turn now. I think there's a lot of things getting built and a lot of cities growing next turn, so there could be quite a lot to do here. Oh, shit. What are you doing? As long as they're not for me, I don't really care. I mean, it's not that scary, to be honest, but oh, there's a lot of units. Oh, what? Are these barbarians? They look like barbarians, don't they? How much damage are they actually doing us? Oh, that looked that look quite bad. 11 damage. Should we worry about the Australians here? That is the question. That is the question. No, oh, maybe I should have not built the campung there. But you know what? It should actually be okay because we, we can always get rid of it if we want to build the harbour, etc. Uh, oh, no, we didn't. How we built? We've built a campung there, haven't we? I think it's the crab resource we were going to buy next. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were going to buy this tile. 
You know what, we're not though, because two turns to growth, we might as well save the 60 gold. I think they've only got one charge left. Okay, okay the builds have only got one charge left, but in two turns we get the crab and then we can we can deal with that, so that's okay. Yes, haha, <laughs> more naval units, and I know exactly where I'm sending you. Um, could actually create an escort with the spearman, that'll give us, um, I think the Zhong. If we have a look here, yeah, plus five combat strength when in a formation. Yeah, so if we create an escort formation, will that give us plus five combat strength? I hope it does. I'm going to take the spearman anyway, because I'm really actually quite worried about this Australian force. I don't think they're going for the city-state, and if you look at the heading they're actually currently on, it could easily be for Jambi. So we need, we need actually... My god, 16 turns. What the frick. Right, we'll send you here first, and then we can assess the situation when you get there. See, this is the problem with having such a wide, a spread out empire, isn't it? Because to get troops organised, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be a pain. I am worried about this. I do have to admit, I'm worried about this. Are you at war with anybody? How are you with Australia? It doesn't look like you're at war. You do not just send. Oh, maybe it's because there's settlers here. That'd make more sense, wouldn't it? Maybe they're just settling a city. I don't think Australia's a particularly aggressive nation. and He doesn't need to be aggressive. He has no no need to be aggressive at all. Wow, he's like only friendly with Persia. But it doesn't matter because nobody dare mess with him because he's so damn powerful. Okay, so now we have built the Zhong in there. I think I actually had a look at this off camera and thought, what do we need to build? Now, we could build some more settlers, but we're not going to. That idea's gone out of my head. I no longer think we need to. We... Saying that, though, if we did get some more settlers, we could put them down here. Nice city location there, but... Who's to say that Gandhi isn't going to come and settle there? Or the Kamer aren't going to settle there? Well, we're kind of buggering about with our settlers. Hmm, I don't like all these Australian units around. They are making me feel very uneasy. I'm I'm pretty tempted to actually build some kind of... I wish we had iron. Are we? <laughs> There's so many things I wish we had in this game. But I do wish we had iron because then we could have built a swordsman. I'm not sure what to build actually. Obviously I want another Zhong. But I also want a military unit because we, we can put them in formations. That'll help a lot. Don't want a warrior. There's no point. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the science tree, the tech tree. Let's see if that were kind of anywhere near something which could be used. Pikeman could be useful. I don't think you need anything special for pikeman either. Replaced by an AT crew. Wow. Upgrader from spearman. Yeah. I think pikeman could be quite useful. I think they're quite a defensive unit though. Am I right? I'm not sure. I know they used to be on Civilization Revolution, which is pretty much the save I've played more than any other. So if we get that, how many... Is that the second one? Oh, we can get that now, look. Yeah, we might as well. Um, not really doing... Can get printing once we've got that. I'd rather have pikemen and then start um, be able to start building them. So what we'll do here, then, is I think we'll build another Zhong. How much faith we got? We've got 394 faith. How much does it cost to purchase a naval unit? Wow. We're at, we've actually got enough. I'm not going to do it yet because I'm not necessarily wanting to do it in Magic of Heat. I'm obviously... What's going on here? I thought we were in escort formation. Oh, hang on then. Not really sure how to work it properly, so we'll have to kind of... Experiment with that a little bit. Have we got a charge left? Housing's fine. We've completely sorted the housing situation here. I'm a bit worried about Tuban because once we've moved them builders away from Tuban, it's growing so quickly. I'm once again worried about the housing situation there. So I think we'll probably send him back to build a couple of kampungs here. Housing, housing, housing. Um, what should we build here? Such a bummer we can't, like, 
build districts apart from the harbour. I mean, really, if we were thinking, we probably, I don't know, it was difficult to grab them tiles, wasn't it, from Majipa Heat? Could have done with grabbing a tile or two from Majipa Heat to put some districts on there, but unfortunately we didn't. Um, tempted to go to the lighthouse. More great admiral points as well. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I mean, they should be making so. Yeah, I mean, they're doing okay. You just think these cities are going to be absolutely massive, and because we won't be able to have like um, this, um, um, oh, Christ, campuses. There we go. In them, we're kind of just wasting them. But it's okay. They're making some science. They are quite useful to have around. Do, 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 do. Oh God, which one do we strike at first? Yeah, I want to kill that one. It's okay, because we're due an upgrade. We can get an upgrade next turn. So when we get that, we'll heal. It's all going to work out fine, people. No need to panic. Okay, so we've got the fish there. I'm not actually going to build a camp on there. Um, yeah. I think we'll spend 60 gold. We'll build, buy this tile and put a camp on here. Lovely jubbly. Kampongs are my favourite thing right now. We've got the monument being built there and that should be doing two turns. What are you doing around here? Don't like it one bit. I really don't. <laughs> Let's go. Oh look, there's the um, oracle. He built it on a little island. I am pleased to see that the great minds of the world prefer our empires to yours. Oh good. Whatever. I feel like he's just being a dick. I am impressed with the unique culture your people are developing. Oh thank you. I'm glad somebody likes us. How much damage? 12. That's a bit more, isn't it? Okay. Them words by Alexandra. Alexander. I should be able to say that because that's my name. Um, Astrovosky. Which isn't my name, but it's not that difficult to pronounce. Okay, so this is civil service. So we get plus one amenities f uh, for cities with garrisoned units. Um, if we put that policy in, and then we can also get each city receives plus one culture for each specific, okay. Yeah, and then we can also form an alliance. I think we'll leave them in. I like the monies. Money, money, money. Must be funny. You can skip another turn. The fight back begins. Decisive victory already? Wow. That is how powerful we are in comparison to the quad room. 100 damage, wow. That, that is pretty mint. Yep. Carry on. You know what? Let's just simplify things. Can't even get back, for Christ's sake. Can we go this way? Ah... No. Yeah, apparently we can get back that way, so hopefully hopefully that'll be okay. Okay, so and once because we've got civil service, we can have a monarchy. Is that new government types? Yes, yes, yes. There's the monarchy there, which should give us three military slots. I think that's one economic and one each of the others. Theocracy is kind of more balanced, I'd say. Hmm, I don't know which one we want. Merchant Republic, could that be useful? Alright, let's have a read over the other ones. So, Monarchy. 
So inherit bonus plus 50% production towards defensive buildings, plus one um, housing for each level of wall. Um, yep. Bonus influence points toward uh, points towards in, um, envoys, 20% plus 1% for every 10 turns of standard speed. And influence generation gain, 5 influence points. But okay, so it's a lot to do with um, city-states, that isn't it? Which is not a bad thing. What do we get with that? We get chivalry. And we get gothic architecture. I don't think... I'm not so sure monarchy suits us. Envoys are good. Well, we'll have a look what else we can get. So the reformed church leads to theocracy. Um, inherit bonus... Inherent bonus, sorry. Um, can buy land combat units with faith. Ah. All units plus five religious strength in theological combat... Yeah, okay. We're not really going to be in theological combat, though, are we? Um, discount on faith um, purchases. 15% plus 1% for every 15 turns of standard speed. 15%, okay. And then, again, um, with the envoys. Gain 5 influence points per turn. It's 150 points. And 2 envoys! And then the other one here is... From Exploration is Merchant Republic. This sounds like my kind of thing. Um, so, inherent bonus plus two trade routes. Nice. Um, legacy bo um, yeah, bonus. Disc discount on gold purchases. Wow. I really think... You know what? That's not even bad at all. I like the look of exploration. Have a look at our government. So we get two wildcard policies, I think. We'll get one diplomatic policy and one of the... I think that's what it looked like to me. Yeah. Oh, no, we get two economic policies, two wildcard policies and one of the other two. Let's let's get that on. Let's head towards that because that's the government type I want. So we need to get, actually, medieval fares before that. That's currently taking six turns. But we should have a trade route done next turn, which will give us the Eureka, because we'll be maintaining four trade routes, and everything will be looking um, very nice. Yep, ready to end the turn, I think. Ah, good, the Zhongs here. Naval reinforcements. Mm. He's what to do with you, though. Don't think it's a bad idea to have a lot of... Um, military unit stationed here because then we can actually strike out in in Drapura. So maybe I think I think really if I'm looking at all their settlements, that's definitely very high on the list because it's isolated from them. If we can def defend Jambi and especially defend Tanate down here, which is a bit out of the way. We could be in an actually quite a good position to just strike out at this city. And it's got first, so that's another amenity. It's, it looks like a very good city. The only down, no, no, it has got it has got a couple of sea resources. So I think the whale, no, the whale's not in range, is it? No, but the fish, the fish are in range, and the pearls are in range. So we can build campungs around them. Also, look, we've got mountains here to build um, a holy site or a campus, for example. Corn, sorry, wheat, sorry, um, for growth. So I think that could be a very nice city. And I think it'll be even nicer when it's in our little Indonesian hands. I, th I think we can be very happy if we can we can capture that. So I think I actually will start to, um, to get a lot of units around here. Yeah. You can do be on alert, be on alert. Now what's going on with this? I'm not quite sure. Right. Yeah, create a scout formation. Now you should both move. There we go. I don't know what happened first time. That's why it was saying it was going to take so long, isn't it? Because it's the spearman moving, not the Zhong. Okay. I don't. That's a bit weird, but we'll we'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> it's all coming together nicely. We've got a nice little force being built around here. We've got a bit of we've got enough faith to actually purchase another Zhong. We've got some naval units down near Jambid just defending them. So we're okay. 
We do need to build a bit more of a navy, but let's have a look in the military standings. Like, yeah, yeah, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. We are so much stronger than them. Ah, oh, I'm getting eager now to strike out at them. Especially considering, I mean, we are in that, this is, should be our prime time, really, because it's our unique unit, so we, we should be using this to our advantage. Are they scientifically better than us? Yes, but no. They've got four more technologies, but... Less science per turn. Um, culturally, I'm, I mean, I think everyone... We've got no tourism, because we've got no walls. Wow, China's only got four, four tourism. He's making all, less culture than us, though. So, actually, on civics and um, the technology race, we should actually be looking to pass them pretty soon. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to pretend Australia's not in the game, because then I can stop, like, soiling myself at every opportunity. They are definitely better than us at really... No! Please leave! Go away, Australia! We do not need hassle from you! Get the monument finishing uh, Makassar next turn. No. Stop it. Please, leave me alone, Australia. I only want to be left alone. That's all I've ever asked for. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how many units we are. God, we've got a housing problem. Great, in Tuban. But we are sending these builders across to um, to deal with that. Grown again, wow. Nine! A population of nine. What to build then? Hmm. I kind of want ancient walls in here as well. But then I kind of think, do we need them? Builders could be nice because they're going to have no charges left after this. So if we want to build anything around the, these three cities, we could probably do with some more builders. And obviously, obviously, um, naval units would be very nice as well. Choices, choices, choices. I think we'll go for a spearman. I know that probably seems like a bit of a weird decision, but I do want some siege units to attack, attack the Kama with, and I don't really want to build a crossbowman because it's going to take ages. Oh, we've got no iron. How shocking is that? Yeah, we'll go Spearman. We can upgrade that to a Pikeman as well when we get military tactics. So that should be okay. Okay, so Jambi! We have now got the builders to um, to sort out the housing problem we have. Um, so they'll be straight onto that. Now we have a choice. Could obviously go for some military units, but I don't think we will. Although I want to, I want to keep building on our science. Um... So I think I'm going to build a library. We've got a campus. I think you've got to build a, li a, li a library if you've got a campus, surely. It just makes sense. You need to get out and start building campungs, my friend. So... Um, yeah. Can we build a campung here? Surely we can, yes. So we'll build the campung there. Next turn we'll build on the crab. Um, and then we'll carry on doing that. Got a trader in Tuban, but I'm thinking, where do we send this? I think, first of all, we probably don't send it to... Oh, look, look, all the big money's from the camera. Um, first of all, we probably don't send it to the camera. And we probably don't send it from that city either. I like to send everything kind of from Jambi. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll actually move the cities it's in. Move it to Jambi. It's surrounded by city states, etc. So it probably makes sense. Got a pretty strong navy around there as well to um, deal with any threats. Yep, build on the crab, please. 
How are we doing for housing in there? Yeah, that's fine. We're doing okay. Okay, so Makassar. I'm trying to think what we need here. We've got a lot of choices. I'm, I kind of want something we've not built before. Look, much better, much better opportunities here for holy sites. My only worry is that we were told barbarians had spotted our city. Now, obviously, I don't want to go and build a holy site and then the barbarians appear and ruin everything. Um, I think I'd quite like um, a couple of military units. No, bugger it. Bugger it, bugger it, bugger it. We'll build something a bit different. We can always buy military units, but not as if it's not as if we're like short on cash, is it? Could start on the like usual harbour thing, but I don't think we will. Mm. Theatre Square, culture's been quite good to us so far. Um <laughs> choices, choices, choices. I really I do want another campus because I want us to be quite technologically strong. Okay, bugger that. What we'll do is we will build a scout. Yes, a scout. I think we will... No, we don't need a scout, do we? We'll be able to see where the barbarians were. Hmm. I actually want something to defend the city because I think the, the caravel could very easily need to bugger off to war. But... Uh, Okay, we'll build a spearman. I'll bite the bullet. I'll just build the spearman. Um, we'll upgrade these. How many naval? I think we've got one Zhang around here. I'm pretty sure we have somewhere. Unless I've moved it. How clever would that be? Yes. Alright, well we'll send you back the next turn to defend the islands. <clears throat> Okie dokie, let's carry on then. Got a bit stumped then because I wasn't quite sure what to build there. I really wanted to probably build either a holy site or a district. Obviously the holy site for the faith so we can purchase more units. That, oh, who's built that? Oh, Gandhi has built the terracotta army. What a surprise. Gandhi building things to do with armies. Yep, yeah, you can come back. And yes, okay, so we need to build a kampung here because we are developing a bit of a housing issue in Tuban. Then where should we build that? I think where we can build that. We could build one there because that's shallow water. Ninety gold though. And you know me, I don't like spending my money. Can't build it there because we've got a lighthouse and a harbour. Ugh. Well, looks like we have to bite the bullet. It's all right. We are we are quite rich, in all fairness. So we'll build a camping there next turn. I just want you to kind of no, you can go in the city actually. That probably makes sense. Probably should have took you out of escort formation first. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Who cares? Want you to then work on that crab resource so then the kampung becomes more powerful. Should hopefully sort housing out there. Oh, look at all that gold from Lisbon, for Christ's sake. That would be nice. I mean, we are making 84, which is quite a lot. Kamasi would actually bring us some culture as well, though. I did say I'd keep Lisbon in mind because of the gold it would bring us. 
And that gold would almost certainly come in use. It really would, because if you think about it... 13 gold. I know 10 turns, we've already made 130 gold. Like, very useful for buying units, for upgrading units, I think. I think we're going to go for that. I might be making a mistake here, but you know what? I am an absolute sucker for cash. And that's also gave us the inspiration to medieval fairs because we are maintaining four trade routes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, lovely. So that'll be done next turn. Military tactics will be done next turn. And we will also focus on... Definitely need a start... Yeah, look. We're going to have cities to start building naval units in. How much is it to purchase a Zhong? I think it's about 600 gold, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 600 gold. Caravel is slightly cheaper at 480. It's the faith we should have probably focused a bit more on, because you're purchasing, purchasing them at a discount at 50%. So... Lessons to be learnt from this people. Focus on faith with Indonesia just to build up your navy. If if for nothing else, that's what you're going to need to do. Okay, but we're slow starters on that. We've pretty much got a decent navy as it is anyway, so we can be reasonably happy. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I've got to, got to go out shortly. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for keeping supporting the series. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. And remember to leave any suggestions, suggestions or comments you have below. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And join me next week, where I'm sure at some point we'll get into some kind of war. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Thank you for watching, and I will see you then.